are here at Cagbalete in Quezon and we're just having the time of our lives. <laughs> we are on one of the sand bars. So it's getting a little high tide right now. So this is how it looks like here. Where are you going? Don't go don't go anywhere. Look, it's almost there. It is? Oh yeah. It's I'm so scared. Don't be scared. Hey guys. It's us, we're back, and um, as you've um, seen in the, the travel footage and some of Kelly's, um, we're actually out. Hi, Luis! <laughs> um, on a beach trip, um, we're in Cagbalete. Did you tell them where we are? Yeah, Cagbalete. Yeah, yeah, we are, this is our final stretch, our final, our last hurrah before the summer ends. Um, finally, we've been planning this trip for like a couple of months. Finally, two months, two months yeah. Two months. And now it's finally happened. Yeah. Just when you know it's about, it's to been rain. starting to rain already. Um, so, it's and Donna. those are my friends <laughs> in the back. No, they're not apparently <laughs> they're not. in the background. No, we're so, um, um, so. Or, Cagbalete is in um, Mauban, Quezon. It's um, it's it's really a great place. It's, um, I haven't really um shot any any um, decent footage because um we just enjoyed the place. Pretty much it, the first moment we got here and slept. Did we? Yeah, we rested and then ate. Yeah, rested, um, ate, rested, ate, and swam. Swam. We already tried the water, so um. The, one of the best things about this place, we're at, we're at, we're at, we're, at, we're um, actually at um, Pe Pansacola. Yeah, that's that. Kishipata. <laughs> we're at Pansacola Beach Resort. Yeah. Um, show them the whole thing. Well, actually, we demolished, demolished everything already. Right. So you're just um, looking at the, what's that? The, the remains. The remains. Well, remains. We're at Pensacola Beach Resort. Um, it's one of the popular um, go-to places here in Cagbalete. Um, and it's really great. We, um, we we got the family suite. It's an aircon room. It's pretty expensive, but actually, if you ask me, it's worth it. Especially since we have Gary around. And uh, we have friends who cannot stand not being in air-conditioned rooms. So it all works for everyone. Um, it's a big place. It's really great. If if you have any plans of bringing your whole big family or friends, um, okay, this is sort of like the dining area. Um, the best thing about getting the suite is that they uh, you have they give you their food. There's yeah, a food. The, they yeah, the food. They, there's a food option where you can you pay like 900 pesos per head, and they serve lunch, snacks, dinner, breakfast, and it's not. It's it's not really um, taken lightly. I mean, they for lunch they served us um, two crispy pata um, big portions. Um, like this big, really big. And then there's some of the. It's called pako. <laughs> it's a whole. It's like two platefuls um, earlier. Um, <laughs> Gee, oh, I, sorry, we've already already demolished them. Rice and um, squid. And so let you flan. So th they don't really skim on food. It's it's one good thing about this place. And um, so this is the dining area. This is where they serve the food. Um, there's also an outdoor um, veranda. Veranda as well, where you can hang out. And a swing. And there's a like a hammock outside yeah. Yeah. that I already tried. This is so good. it was great. I tried it um, when I have the energy to stand up. <laughs> I will show you the room. I think I tried showing it earlier, but I might have um, caught some of my friends in not flattering, <laughs> in in non flattering um, garbs and positions. So I'm and not gonna. There's another room. I'm not gonna room show there. that. So aside from so, uh, that's the door to the air conditioned room, and then also there's like an upstairs place here that goes to like an attic where. More people can sleep. So they can um, accommodate like around 10 to 12 people. This is the way to the bathroom. Separate shower and bathrooms. So, what's so up? there. 
What do you mean to that? I don't know. That's a secret door. I don't know what that is. Secret door to paradise. Yeah, so it's really a great place. Um, right. We're actually enjoying our stay so far. And there's like only like three families that I can see here, but they're only... There's not many people here. Right. Maybe it's because it's almost the end of summer. Everyone's been here already. But it's been great. It's really great. Um, and um, even though it's quite expensive, I think it's it's quite worth it. It's really worth it. It's worth it because... The utilities, I guess. And the, you know, the, the best thing about this place is that um, the, the... I'm sorry, I'm still fresh from swimming and my brain is like mush. Um, the bathrooms have bidets. They have quality um, utilities. Really, really, yeah, it's really, really it's great. The bidet. <laughs> she loves bidets. So, so there. Um, so we're we're just spending a night here, like a day, night, and then the next day, just to relax. Um, our, as we've told you before, we've planned to show Kyrie the beach, you know, the ocean, and she's been enjoying it so far. Yeah. Too. Um, one of the setbacks of this place is that um. The, the water, the ocean is not really deep. I mean, it can be a setback, but for us, I, I, one of the reasons why I chose this place is because I don't really want to, you know, bring Kyrie to dangerous places. And mm -hmm. so, I mean, potentially dangerous, you know, beaches, especially for a first time. Right. Who knows what will happen? I mean, there might, although we're always, you know, um, taking care of her, there might be times when we might lose sight of her and I don't want her to drown. But, um, <laughs> sorry, that escalated quickly. <laughs> okay. But uh, bottom line is, one of the reasons why I chose this place is because um, the, the water is actually pretty shallow. So if you're like, you know, a, a group of adults who wanted to swim, it's not really a place that you swim in unless you have to wait for high tide, which is going to be um, night late time. night time until early morning. Yeah. So we'll watch out for that tomorrow and see how it feels. Um, what I also like about the place is that the sand is a really white sand. Yeah, the sand is nice. And it's quite it's fine and white. It's a little clay ish though. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Can, you can see a lot of sea creatures like little hermit crabs and yeah. crabs. <laughs> crabs who kept following her around. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's also a lot of crabs. <laughs> like little crabs that I, I quite got scared of while <laughs> we're in the water. It's rough. But otherwise, it's, it's actually a great place. We'll try to give you some more footage. Um, I guess we're just doing this quickly just to check in with you and, you know, tell you about this place. Um, it's really great. Play that. Hey Another guys, um, just to show you, our dinner has arrived. As, like, we've, talk, we've, we've been telling you about the food. This is our dinner. So that's um, veggies veggies um, grilled stuff <laughs> pork um, huge fish sweet and sour fish more veggies rice and dessert and we still have our leftover snacks that we haven't even finished oh that's finished and rice cake yeah. Rice cake. We hope that you've had a great summer. Um, we haven't been around much, <laughs> mm -hmm. but Kyrie's enrolled, so she'll be starting school. We'll start. We'll try to vlog about that. Yeah. In a few weeks, and. Um, oh my God. She's yeah. Um. This. I hope this is not yet goodbye, because I plan to show some more footage tomorrow. In case it is, um, we would like to um, bid you adieu. <laughs> Um, this has been Chef and Kelly. Together we are Pinay Lesbian, Lesbian Moms. Moms telling you that life's too short to wait, so live the life that you want to live and be the change that you want to see. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow, hopefully. Bye. Bye.